Like, I'm in love. Like, for real, for real? Bruh. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Waldi. I'm feeling myself. Oh my god. I am. I'm feeling myself. I can't even help it. I'm just gonna jump right into it. Guys, my hair. <laughs> this is by far. I know I always say this. Like I love this. And I love, okay, I get it. Okay, I do love the things that I try and I do like to switch it up. But this right here is by far the best and my favorite protective full lock hairstyle I have ever done in my hair now this is the bobby balls soul bomba faux locks but in the goddess type i have worn the um bomba faux locks before but not the um goddess one like the curls at the end i don't know what took me so long i should have been i just okay first off i got this hair from sam's beauty so thank you sam's beauty for sending me these um faux locks and i am just in love y'all i can't even lie my, all right, this is what it looks like straight out the package. And again, this is the Bobby Balls Bumble Faux Lock Soul Goddess um, Faux Locks in 20 inches. All right, I just want to see that. I am five nine and a half. I'm pretty tall, and this comes up to like my boob area. Okay, but y'all, amazing, like. Oh my God. Um, just to give you guys some facts, I did use three packs. Only three packs, y'all, because I didn't want them to be too small because I didn't want my head to be, to be too heavy. But I could have used four or five packs, y'all, because these are super duper lightweight. Like, I don't feel like I have anything on my head. My scalp doesn't hurt. I didn't braid it too tight. My head is not heavy. I'm able to sleep at night. Like, you can't go wrong with these faux locks, y'all. So yeah, I did use three packs, and this took me about three and a half to four hours to complete. Again, I have kids, so I think um, if I wasn't distracted and running around after them, I'd probably be done in three hours, all right? Not even three and a half to four hours, three hours. I didn't use a lot, of, I didn't do a lot of braids. I made them medium size, only three packs, y'all. Super duper affordable, like you can't go wrong. You can't, you can't go wrong with this. Like I'm in love, like for real, for real, bruh. Wow, okay. So I'm gonna leave all the details of this hair and where you can purchase it in the description box. Make sure you check it out, all right? And I'm gonna show you guys simple, easy, quick steps that I did to install these Bumble Full Locks. I know you guys don't believe me when I say I'm like super beginner friendly when it comes to like crochet. I've said this before and I mean it. If I can figure this out, Anybody can ask my friends. They'll tell you I used to always get my hair done back in the day because I didn't know how to do my own hair I didn't know how to do my own protective styles, but because of this Jazz Nicole method I'm able to install these just like that I don't have to take all day to be running to somebody's salon sitting all day and waiting and people have attitudes and people pulling out your edges You ain't gotta do all that Okay, so if you're interested to see exactly what I did to install these faux locks and the final look and how I accessorize Just keep on watching Okay, so I just left the front part, the small section of my hair so that I can show you guys exactly what I do. Now, whenever I protect the style, I always like to go in and make sure that my hair is moisturized um, and just make sure that my scalp is also moisturized so that it doesn't get dry, okay? So I'm just gonna take uh, my water and just spritz this in my hair. And then just take some of my Blue Magic hair grease and put that on top of that, just to seal in that water and that moisture. Then going in with a wide tooth comb, I just like to go in and detangle my hair. So just because you're protective styling doesn't mean that you shouldn't take care of your hair. So before I do anything, before I braid my hair, I just like to make sure that my hair is detangled and moisturized so that it can be healthy under the protective style. All right, so I'm just gonna split this into two sections with my with my nails. Of course I can't find my comb uh, with the small, this is, this is too big to part, so I'm just gonna go with my hair pick and just do it like that. My parts are never straight, y'all already know, and it's quite all right. <laughs> just gonna take this section and just braid it, three strand braid. But once I get to the bottom of my hair, I'm just going to two strand twist. Do 
three strand twist. So once I get here, I just uh, start to two strand. Just to make it easier for me when I'm um, undoing my hair, it'll be easier to take it out. Just start two stranding down here. There you go. I also left one up here just to show you guys um, what I'm doing, okay? Let me show you guys what the dreads look like. And what I like about this is that you can, you know, play with it so that it could be more natural. The more, not tangled, the more kind of frizzy it gets, the more natural looking it is. This is by far the easiest dreadlock that I've installed in my hair where I didn't have to struggle at all. And I think it's mostly because of um, the loop. The loops are super easy to open, as you can see here. And you can easily unravel this and it'll go right, it'll snap right back to its shape. I use two methods to install these faux locks into my hair. Um, I'm gonna show you guys the first one. The faux lock is still in your hand, okay? So take the crochet hook and just insert it into your hair, okay? Just like that. Now take this, the loop, and put it through the hook, close the latch, and then slide this right. See how easy that was? No tugging, it didn't, no. All right, and so this can easily move in between my braid. Now just don't braid your hair too tight because if you braid it too tight, then you'll probably have some problems um, getting this through your braid. But yeah, it don't make it super loose and don't make it too tight, okay? So I'm just gonna insert my hand through that loop again. So easy to do, like that. Take the, take the faux lock and your braid and put it through that loop and then tighten it. See? There you go. Now, how do we conceal, how do we hide this braid? Here's the first method. I'm just going to wrap this faux lock around, around the braid. So, wrap it in the direction that the faux lock is going. All right, so I'm not gonna wrap it like this because I, that would be unraveling. See, if I do it this way, the faux lock is gonna start unraveling. But I'm gonna wrap it going this way so that it doesn't unravel, all right? Hopefully that makes sense, all right? So here's the braid, all right? And I'm just going to start opening the faux lock, as you can see here, opening, and just wrap it around the braid. Open, wrap. Open, wrap. So I'm gonna open a little and then wrap. See? Open, wrap. And you'll know if you're wrapping it in the wrong direction because once you let it go, it'll unravel. But don't worry, with this hair, it can unravel, it's fine. You can just try again, wrap it in the correct direction and it'll go right back to its shape, okay? See? And there you have it. No one can see or detect that you have a braid in between here. Let me show you another method. Insert the crochet hook. Put the loop on the hook. Close the latch. And slide it right on through. Easy. Your fingers through the loop. Take your braid and the faux lock. Slide it right on in. And then tighten it. Now this time, I'm going to insert the crochet hook through the middle of the faux lock. So first, let's measure the hair. So my hair comes up to about here. So I'm gonna take my finger and leave it here so that I know where to insert the crochet hook. Insert this through the middle. Slide it all the way up by having your fingers guide where the crochet hook is going. And slide the fold lock down as you slide the crochet hook up. All the way up as far as you can. Okay. Now this is the crochet hook, right? Now take the braid, insert it through that hook. 
all right and I'm going to insert the braid like towards the end of the braid all right close the latch and then slide it through the full lock slide it right on through and this is what this braid should look like so just let you guys know, I did do the first method um, in the back because in the back I can't see what I'm really doing so it's hard to do the um, sliding method in the back. So I prefer doing the first method which where I um, wrap the braid around the back but once I get up here, it was easier for me to slide the braid through the faux lock, okay? So I'm just gonna show you guys one more time the second method, all right? take some edge control and just lay my edges down now I'm just gonna throw in some accessories in here that I purchased from my local beauty supply store and then I have some random rings that I just had in my jewelry box. You know those rings that you put to accessorize whatever your fingers? I'm gonna use these as well to accessorize my hair. All right, so let me show you guys the back. So yeah, y'all, I am in love with these faux locks. I love the texture. How natural looking that it is I love that they has like the goddess curls at the bottom this is just bomb I can see myself going in and um, doing this style over and over and over again these are by far my favorite type of faux locks to install when I do the individual um, faux locks because they're super easy the dread is not stiff it's soft it's durable but it snaps right back into its shape and what I love about this hair is that because I had the bomba locks before but um, this time I had the goddess the older that it gets the more natural um, it's gonna look so I can't wait to see what this looks like in about two weeks I already know it's gonna be bomb if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave it in the comment section let me know what you guys think about these do you like these better than the uh, other ones I've had in the past let me know if you haven't seen those videos check those out as well I'll link it in the description box please don't forget to share like and subscribe if you're not subscribed to my channel what are you waiting for y'all Come on, okay? So y'all stay beautiful and y'all stay positive. Until next time, bye.